Coach, let's start, can you start off with a general thought about the game? Well, I think, you know, one of the keys to the game was uh, they made a couple of mistakes early, and we were able to take advantage of that. And I think, you know, if you if you take a starting pitcher and you put him on the mound and stake him to a five-run lead, you know, he, he's, he's going to be more confident right off the bat. So I thought if you looked at that was a big thing in the game of scoring five in the first, and then Daniel was just, he was about as dominant as you'll see in college baseball. He was just outstanding today. It's been two really, really good starts for Daniel in a row. Um, are you noticing any difference in him these last two starts, either technically or emotionally, than how it had been through? No, you know, this, it's one thing about um, having some older guys. I think you don't see a lot of emotional uh, difference. And I, I actually think, you know, it's funny how you look at things, but I look back uh, at the SIUE game in which he struggled and was really proud because it was a day he didn't have everything going for him, but he competed his tail off and he gave us a chance. The last two weeks, it's come much easier for him as far as it happened today. I don't know if I've ever seen him throw like that bullpen in a game or anywhere where he was just that dominant with everything. You know, I mean, throwing the ball exactly where he wanted to, making pitches, and, and seemingly not ever even find, falling behind in the count. And uh, he was outstanding for the second time in a row, but he's been outstanding a bunch of times this year. But you were particularly hot in the tournament. Obviously, you had three hits for the second game in the tournament today. Um, just. Explain how it turns on for you in, in the playoffs part of the season. Um, I just think that we just have really competitive at bats in the in the tournament, you know, and not really giving away any at bats because you never know when the other team's going to make a run or we're I'm like you, you always want to score runs when you can. And, and no, just playoff time and that kind of stuff. I mean, you can ramp it up um, a little bit more. I mean, it's a little bit different atmosphere, of course, in the tournament because, you know, you're playing uh, maybe your last game every day, and so uh, you really just want to walk in at the plate and uh, never give away any at-bats. Thanks. Thank you. Any other recent start that this is going to be a special start for you performance-wise? Uh, no, nah, you never really feel it until, I mean, the first inning's over is really when you kind of see where your stride's going to go. And uh, definitely having the guys behind me big time today helped a lot. Jim, this is, um, I'm going to make a statement. I don't have a question. Okay. Last week when you pitched, that was really good. But how good was it for you today? How efficient, like Coach said, 11 strikeouts, less than 70 pitches? I mean, it, it was great. I mean, it felt good. Um, I hope it looked good as it felt. Uh, <laughs> um, I mean, you never know. This could this could have been my last time to ever throw out there, and the, that's really what was going through my head. Is hey, I I got to put everything else I have left in me because this might be my last baseball game ever. And so I mean, uh, that's really what I wanted it to be. Well, and, and all as it started early, and you don't think perfect game. I mean, that's just you know really outstanding, fabulous. But you had the no hitter going thinking about that at all as it was developing, how little or how much? Uh, that was very little. I wasn't really worried about a no-hitter or any kind of anything like that. I was just worried about us winning and getting to tomorrow, really. I mean, just to get to Sunday is the big thing here. Um, knowing the compression of games, if you would given up, finally, if only given up the first hit, you figure you're going to come out sometime sooner. Cause I think Coach might have said, ah, we'll t let you go for as long as you can keep that zero up. I kind of felt it. I mean, our, our team's hitting good, and uh, the way we were going, there's, I mean, anybody could have thrown today, really, the way we were hitting the ball, and, I mean, there's there's no reason I shouldn't come out. You, 